just out for a nice easy 10k run just as the sun is setting um, today's video is an interesting one if you are new to running or coming back to running after a hiatus or coming back to running after an injury how important is somebody's posture when they're running i would argue that it's not very important at all in fact if you're an amateur or a non-elite runner i would say that spending time trying to fix your posture is a totally uh, arbitrary waste of time there's probably a lot more things you can do to improve your running than to worry about your posture when you're running you see there are no bad postures we have a phrase in pain management that your best posture is your next posture so as you're running whatever posture you're adopting the best one for you is the one that you're going to adopt next i think people get confused sometimes between an inefficient posture and a more efficient posture i would say most people when they start running first probably have a quite an inefficient posture but there's three primary reasons why they have that inefficient posture and the inefficient posture is not going to cause them any pain or strain it might hold them back from progressing and it will probably change over time if they become consistent with the running depending on what level you are when you start with if you want to be a better runner you can probably improve your efficiency by changing some of the stuff or, or um, giving time for your body to change and adapt a better efficiency when running but telling somebody that they need to change their posture by keeping the back up straight or rounding their shoulders back or my pet heave is tighten up your core when you're running I mean telling people to do these things they'll think about it when they're running for probably be a microsecond and then you know a microsecond later they're thinking about what they're going to have to eat when they finish or are they going to have enough time to shower before they get to work or what time they're going to pick their kids up at so telling somebody to try and be aware of holding your core in when you're running or holding your shoulders back or keeping your head up straight it's just a total waste of time and all you're doing is confusing that person because there's three primary reasons why we adopt the posture when we think about our posture when we're running or when you look at somebody running and look at the posture you have what they're doing is basically just a case of they're trying to organize themselves in a way that they can do whatever the task or whatever the sport is that they're doing so in this case running so when you see somebody running with you know you see some people running one shoulder down one shoulder up or stooped over you know a long stride length or a short stride length or a little shuffle all they're doing is trying to organize themselves in the best way to solve three problems problem number one they have a desire not to fall flat on their face so whatever they're doing their primary reason for doing it is that they don't fall over and hit their face into the ground reason number two as they're running they're building up a certain amount of carbon dioxide in their body they need to find some way through posture and movement that they can get their body to exchange gases through the lungs so that they can take out that carbon dioxide and replenish it with fresher um, uh, air coming through the lungs which is more oxygenated the oxygenated blood will go around the body and help them maintain whatever pace or distance that they're going to run and that's pre basically what they're trying to do with whatever posture they have point number three they're just trying to avoid any sort of previous injury or previous pain that they felt so maybe when they do run up straight they get a back pain so now they've ad adopted a little posture where they kind of round forwards um maybe before they had some sort of a knee problem so uh they find that now if they drop one shoulder down that that knee problem doesn't come back there can be a multitude of different reasons why people um, identify with different postures when they're running my basic point is trying to tell them that they shouldn't run like that or they should change the way they're running because that's going to cause them more pain or lead to pain in the future there's absolutely no research to back that up the best thing anybody can do if they do want to improve or change their posture is to get on a strength and conditioning program if it is a case that you're not happy with the way you're running or you want to be more efficient in your running and you and you've identified that maybe when you're running your shoulders around in well just trying to run and keep your shoulders up straight i'm telling you now you're not going to get anywhere with that what you need to do is get into the gym and go through maybe a set of exercises where you do a row um uh, some bench pressing some shoulder pressing some sort of physical strain through your upper body which will help you change just trying to think about a change or affect the change while you're running is just a hopeless case if you're happy enough with the way you run or with the posture or gait that you adapt when you're running but you've been told by somebody else that you should change it probably best thing to do is just ignore that advice because your energy can be much spent and will be put to much better use if you concentrate that energy on just being more consistent with your running if you're consistent with your running over time to so say running three times a week or build up to four times five times six times a week whatever it is the change that will take place in your body will make you a much more efficient runner and i guarantee you it will change your posture over time so changing posture is really not something that you should worry about um if you've been told to worry about by somebody else if yes you're getting pain when you're running or um 
you feel that whatever posture you have is holding you back, then yes, by all means, go about doing something to try and change it. Like I said, get on a strength and conditioning program or join a stretching class or something. But like I said, if you're happy with your posture or you're unaware that you have some sort of a bad posture that you are told to by somebody else, your best thing to do is just work on your consistency, get your mileage up, and you'll become a better runner by doing that. If you enjoyed that video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And uh, if you... That sort of stuff is of interest to you, hit that subscribe button. Um, I try and get two videos out every week on YouTube. One is a vlogging type video about my marathon training and triathlon training. And the other is usually a review or some sort of an educational video about running. Anyway, hope you enjoyed it. Run far, run fast, but most of all, run sensible.